There are so many different golf bags out there. How do you choose which one? So we're gonna go over which type of golf bags to consider, what are the top quality brands, and where to buy them. So let's get to it. Hey guys, I'm Brady and this is Tyson with Golf Ascending and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to click that button and that notification bell because we create weekly golf content. And today we're going to go over what type of golf bag should you buy and Tyson's going to start out with what types because there are many types and he's going to go over the major ones. All right, so I want to talk about the main types of golf bags out there and there are five that I want to talk to you guys about today. So they are a stand bag or carry bag. There is a cart bag, a hybrid bag, staff bag, and Sunday bag. So I'm gonna kind of go back to the beginning, kind of describe everything in a little more detail so you guys know who these bags are targeted for, and if that's the kind of bag that fits you and your golf game. So a stand carry bag. So this is going to be a little bit of a smaller bag. Um, and as it says in the title or the type of bag that is stand bag, it's gonna have the two legs that stick out so it can stand up by itself. Um, and also kind of again in its name carry bag. So this is primarily used when you are a walker on the mm -hmm. golf course. Um, and the reason for this is these bags generally are lighter. Um, you know, when we get into some of these other bags that I'll talk about a little bit later, they're a little bit heavier and it's not something that you want to carry for 18 holes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times these are a little bit more minimalistic. They don't have all the pockets, all the bells and whistles. They get yeah. the job done. They're light. They, they tend to have double straps too sometimes, like a backpack, so great for carrying. Exactly. So yeah, so it's primarily for that golfer. If you are walking a lot, um, you know, you want to look at this bag um, in particular. Okay, moving on, we've got the cart bag. So again, kind of like in the title of this type of bag, cart, okay, would imply, you know, a golf bag that goes on the back of a golf cart, okay? And so this one actually is designed to fit on the golf cart very well. It stands straight up, and generally these bags have 14 or more dividers for each individual club, yep. maybe an umbrella, a training aid, like a swing trainer, you know, yeah. something like that. It's very well organized, very well divided, um, and has lots of pockets. Yes. Um, Brady and I use uh, cart bags primarily because we ride in the cart. We carry lots of film equipment. Yeah. We need all the pockets that we can get. Which is really convenient. Yeah, have. really convenient. It's just nice to just, you know, bring everything onto the cart, um, you know, and have it be organized. So that is a cart bag. The next one I want to talk about is a hybrid bag. So hybrid meaning, you know, kind of a combination between the stand carry bag and the cart bag. And so a lot of times what you'll see is with these bags, they have the 14 weight dividers and they have a little bit more pockets, but they do have the two legs as the stand. Which is great. Which is great, and this is actually the bag that I would probably recommend to most golfers. Same. Um, the reason for this is you have plenty of pockets, um, divide your clubs out very nice. Um, you know, it's heavier than the, uh, than the carry bag, yeah. but it's not so much that it would kill you to walk 18 holes with it. Yep. But what's nice is that, you know, if you're going to the driving range, you just want to set it up next to you, or, you know, you're going to throw it on the cart, you know, you've got all the necessities that you need on the cart, you know, standing it by itself. And like I said, it's just kind of a good blend of both. Yep, great mix. Um, the next bag I want to talk about is the staff bag. So um, it's also uh, called a tour bag. Yeah. Um, you will see caddies on tour carrying these bags for the pros. They're massive. Um, they are huge. Mm -hmm. They look really cool. A lot of times they have like a shiny coat on yeah, them. Yeah, they always look fancy. That's they why look, people want them. <laughs> they look really awesome. I personally actually have a staff bag in my office. It's a Bettinardi putter bag, but I use it more as like a display bag because like yeah. Brady said, it looks super nice. Holds other clubs at Holds home. Holds other clubs. Um, however, it does not have the 14 way divider. Um, so if, I mean, essentially you could put this in a cart because it does stand straight up, but your clubs will be moving around and, you know, chattering together. Um, and generally these are very expensive too. These are probably yeah. ballpark 350 to $400 yeah, new. starting. Um, maybe even more than that, just depending yeah. on the brand that you get. 
But, um, you know, cool bags if you want something to look cool in your office. You know, you have extra clubs that you just need to store. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a good, I would say it's more of a good storage show-off piece than an actual practical bag. Yeah. And just as a disclaimer, some people will make fun of you if you're bringing that out on the course and you like you have your name on it and you're not a good golfer. <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah. They're like, oh, who's this guy? Who does he play for? Yeah, who do you think you are? Like, who's your caddy? <laughs> just a disclaimer, if you do get it and bring it on the course. But anyways, yeah, really cool bag, but we just yeah. want to, you know, let you guys know there is a difference between these two. Yeah. Um, the last bag, so number five, is the Sunday bag. So this is the smallest of all of them. Um, you know, the reason why it has its name is, you know, you go out on a Sunday and you just go and chip and putt a few holes and you carry just a couple of clubs. Yep. Um, you go to the range to work on three to six clubs you don't bring the whole thing you don't no. need your camera equipment you don't need all the extra golf balls the water bottles yeah. you know it's just there for you to carry for it to be light to just focus on your game so generally one to two pockets too just for tees and balls like it's super simple yeah super simple super light and these are actually significantly smaller than your uh, mm -hmm. carry bag so um lots of different use cases for these um you know for me personally and brady we actually carry two bags. Now, we know that not everybody, you know, has it in their budget to have two bags, but we both carry a cart bag and a carry bag. Um, that's just because we're out on the golf course, we're filming a whole bunch, we're going to the driving range, and so some bag, or one bag fits the situation a little yeah. better than the other one. And we find it necessary to have the cart bag in all the pockets. Like we said, we've got camera equipment and a whole yeah. bunch of stuff to test out. And so a hybrid bag, you know, we, we tried it out and it just was a little bit too small for what we were doing. Yeah. But, you know, lots of bags, lots of different use cases for them. So just make sure you're educated on what's out there and, you know, take a look at what, what's there. Okay, so once you decide which type of bag you want, the next thing you probably want to look for is the features on the bag that you'd like to have. And there are a lot of different features and different bag companies have different cool things. But that's something you want to look into to make sure when you get it, you're like, oh, I'm missing this. And you, you check out your friend's bag, you're like, oh, that's cool. So some of the main things that a lot of these different bags have that we like and that we've seen are one of the top ones I like is a little Velcro on the bag where you can put your golf glove on it. So you just stick it on there in between shots. And that's kind of a, a nice little perk that people like. And I know that I like. Mm -hmm. And I would say most of the time that's pretty standard, but just yeah. double check just to make sure. Yeah, for sure. And then an umbrella holder. Um, we don't, we, I have an umbrella holder on my bag, but it doesn't rain a lot in Utah where we're from. Um, but it's kind of nice to have, especially if, if you live in Washington or somewhere where it rains a lot, then that umbrella pocket is actually pretty sweet. Um, another feature would be a range finder pocket, which is kind of cool. Uh, a pocket that's specific for a range finder if you have one. And kind of along with that, how about just pockets that are specific for different yes. items? Um, I know Brady's uh, cart bag, he's got a pocket for shoes. Yeah, shoes. It's awesome. There's like these... Um, these little pockets that go into the bag, they just slide in there so they don't stick out. It doesn't look weird, but I can pull them out and shoes will fit in both of those, which is really cool. It's random, but that's an awesome feature. I also think it's super important that they have that valuables pocket. It's got the mm -hmm. fuzzy inside interior. So like if you ever have like sunglasses or you want to put your phone in there, that way it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't get scratched up or anything. You know, it's staying pretty safe. Yeah. That's a pretty nice thing to have is the valuables pocket. Um, Another thing, oh, on the cart bags and other bags too, they have a little cart strap. So it doesn't necessarily have to go around the handle when you're securing the bag into the cart. It has a little spot where it can go under and it doesn't get in the way of anything else. And like where you're... Yeah, it doesn't cover up any zippers or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And it actually just makes the bag more efficient. So I know mm -hmm. both on mine and your cart bag, so the pocket goes behind it and then we have pockets on the outside that the strap does not affect yeah. whatsoever. It doesn't get in the way. And then you don't have to worry about it scratching your bag because that's exactly where it goes. Right. So. And then I think I would add on top of that just pockets in general. Some bags just have more pockets than other ones. Some have more yeah. storage. And so, you know, sometimes it might just be good just to get into, you know, the PJ Superstore or your local golf shop and just kind of, you know, look around, unzip some things, you yeah. know, imagine, okay, what would I put here, here, here? Yep. Um, you know, that that's really important. So I know that both Brady and I have... Our cart bags have a ton of pockets. Yeah. 
And speaking of pockets, another important one for a lot of people is a cooler pocket. One that you could put in snacks, drinks, whatever they need to keep cool. That is a pretty cool feature that not all bags have. So that's another one to keep um, in mind. I think the the pen holder. Oh, I think the that's, pen holder. Those are cool. Yeah, that's the. I think that's the only other thing that yeah. I can think of. Or as like of little right tea now. holders. Like there's there's a bunch of other little things, but just make sure. So when you narrow down what type of bag you get, then look into the features, and then you can really know. Like, okay, I want to make sure I have these, and they usually list them off if you're buying online or if you're out there looking for it. And that way, when you get home or when you go golf with your buddy, you don't look at their golf bag and get disappointed. And be like, dang, I wish mine had that. All right, let's talk brands. Now, the reason why we're gonna talk brands here is that we wanna make sure that you guys are buying something quality. You know, there are lots of bags out there by, you know, lesser quality that may be okay, but we just wanna make sure and steer you guys in the right direction of something that we know that we would back and yep. recommend to you guys. So, starting off uh, with the big four, okay? Uh, Titleist, Ping, TaylorMade, and Callaway, okay? You guys, uh, you know, if you know golf, those are the big four um, golf club brands, manufacturers. These guys make pretty dang good bags. Yep. Um, Brady actually is gonna touch on two of them in particular. Yeah, I think particularly Ping has been so good at making bags for so long. They make super quality bags. That's why I went for it. Um, and it's just one that I trust and I feel like I can easily recommend. And right along there with Ping, I would say Titleist. They just both make really good looking bags with all the features that you would want. As we just mentioned features, both those brands basically have everything you'd want in the majority of their bags. But yeah, uh, again, the other major four and other big brands are really good. And sometimes people want to match their clubs as well. But as far as some of our top favorites, we'd say Ping and Titleist. Yeah. So we'll actually throw a little graphic up here um, just to let you guys know some of the other brands um, that we would recommend. And these also can be found in our What Golf Clubs Should You Buy video. Feel free to check that out. Yep. But check we have it. a more in detail list of that. But these brands we also would back. Um, and like Brady said, you know, if you're playing Mizuno clubs um, and you want to match them, buy yourself a Mizuno yeah. bag. You know, if you're playing cobra clubs buy yourself a cobra bag buy what you know you think looks good that matches but also kind of you know goes along with your whole theme um you know one of the things that i always say is you know if you look good you play good um you know i love looking at my bag and pulling stuff out of it knowing that it's just a good quality bag that matches my setup so anyways um check any of those brands out we would definitely you know agree with any of those um, the next couple of brands that I actually want to talk about, so these won't be found in our golf club video because these guys don't make golf clubs. These guys are actually bag specific brands. Um, and so, you know, if they are only creating bags, they're doing pretty good. So first one I bring up, uh, Nike. So Nike got out of the equipment game, um, 2016, I believe. Somewhere around um, there. so around that time, but they still do apparel and they do have a line of golf bags um, out there as and well. They look so really good. They look sharp. Ah, man. So Nike, very good. Uh, Sun Mountain. So maybe some of you guys have not heard of Sun Mountain. They are a golf bag specific brand. Make very good quality bags, lots of different styles, colors. Um, check those guys out. Um, the, other two, the other one I want to mention is Ogeo. So I actually personally really like Ojo. So Ojo is, it's not necessarily just a golf bag brand. It's actually just a generic bag and luggage yeah. type brand. They specialize in bags. Yeah. And one of the things that I've noticed about Ojo is that they are very practical. They are all about making your experience easy and functional. And we'll show a little clip up here. I actually have an Ojo stand carry bag. And what's interesting about it is it's got a little bit of a different um, kind of divider section it's got eight pockets and as you guys can see it's got four pockets along the side or not pockets uh, dividers along the side and those are actually meant for your longer clubs like your driver fairy woods driving irons and what's cool because they're individual is that most times those clubs are graphite so you don't scratch the graphite mm -hmm. shafts so smart so it's really cool um the pockets on them really cool very well thought out and designed for the golfer so check ojo out as well um and the last bag company i want to mention here so this would be 
the gold standard in golf bags. This is like your Rolex watch. <laughs> um, so this is Vessel Golf Bag. So very high-end luxury bag. They make a, like a wide range of bags from cart to stand to hybrid. I think the whole nine yards. Um, but yeah, they are very premium. They've got like a faux leather appeal. They've got really soft fabric. They're just very well made, um, very classy, um, but very expensive. So keep that in mind. Yeah, but they look really good. All right, now where to buy golf bags? There are a ton of places to buy them. Uh, PGA Superstore is pretty good, and we show some footage of us there checking out all the different bags they have. Other local retailers, uh, golf stores, um, your pro shop, although pro shops tend to be a little bit more expensive, um, as well as Amazon, eBay, um, places like Facebook uh, Marketplace and Craigslist, because you can find a lot of good deals on bags that have been slightly used. Um, they, any other places you had mentioned? Yeah, and I would just say, you know, there's a whole bunch of other online retailers out oh, there yeah. that are golf specific. So, I mean, we yep. mentioned PGA Superstore. There are other places to that extent that you yeah. can shop online. So, you know, do a Google search. Yeah, you know, look Google for search. a hybrid bag, look for a cart bag, and you guys will get the results that you guys want. Yep, exactly. To summarize, you got the five different types of bags when you're looking into buying. You got the stand carry, you got the cart bag, you have the hybrid of the two, a tour or staff bag, and then a Sunday bag. And then make sure to get the brand you want, one that's good quality or one that matches your clubs. And then you have the places to buy, find whatever deal suits you. And hopefully when you buy, you also look into those features that you exactly want so you don't regret your purchase. And hopefully this video will help you when you're doing your search for the perfect golf bag. Yeah, so hopefully this video did help you guys out. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe. We do upload content every week and we'll see you guys next time.